Okay, so I had an email from Callus yesterday. The Vim 4 now has a 64-bit version of Android. I was impressed with the performance on the 32-bit, but I couldn't get very much to work on it. But the 64-bit version definitely lets me use more things. And also the HDMI in is working. I'll switch over to screen capture, but basically I'm going to plug my iPhone into this HDMI adapter, which is going into the HDMI in socket, and I'll show you what happens. So if I go down to settings and select Callus settings, and then HDMI in. I can then plug my phone in. There you go, so that's my phone. So if I go to Hot UK Deals, you can see that it's working. Uh, but if I also go to say YouTube, the PSP HDR, uh, and start that playing. Thinking of getting a mortgage. I can flip it into landscape mode and you can see that it detects it on the screen. Let's just skip the ad. You can see that's playing through. Uh, if I drag down from the top, I do have a screen recording function, and it does seem to start recording, and you can tell it to record microphone, uh, or you can tell it to record device audio. But I couldn't find where it actually stores it, so if I hit start, uh, it does start recording, and you can see you get this icon at the top, and I looked everywhere. So if I drag down uh, and uh, hit stop, I would have thought it would have just come in the DCM, DCIM folder or something like that. So let's go back to the home screen. I've installed ES File Explorer, but everywhere I look, I just can't find it. So I've looked in the downloads folder, I've looked in the videos folder, I've looked all over the place and I can't seem to find where it stores it. So if anybody knows where it stores it, I'd appreciate it. I have a controller plugged in uh, because the Dolphin emulator works fine now uh, and you can see that various different things are on there. So Dave Mirror, not every game is full speed, Tony Hawk's was still slow, but Dave Mirror is one of my favourite games so I was really impressed to get this working. As you can see, it seems to be working absolutely fine. Really impressed to see that working. If I press the home button on my Xbox control, that takes me back. The uh, PS2 emulator, unfortunately, still doesn't run that great. Um, it, uh, I tried a few different games. Burnout, definitely too slow. Pro Evolution Soccer, definitely too slow. It's faster than the Pi. I have selected Vulkan, uh, and I did expect it to be faster. Maybe it's because it's an early build of Android, but um, yeah, hopefully it will improve. So this is a PS2 version, and it's a modified version, Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. So as you can see, definitely too slow on that, uh, which I thought it might be all right. PPSSPP was working great before, so I don't need to show that. Um, so you can see I've got the Play Store on here, but uh, it hasn't been, I, I put these on. Weirdly, YouTube works, Chrome works as a browser, but it doesn't have all of the GApps integration, so uh, I need to have a look at how I can install the Play Store on there, or that would be really nice if it would come pre-installed on the build, that would make life a lot easier. Netflix I've installed, and uh, everything seems to be working absolutely fine on that. The picture quality looks really decent, and it does give the option of being able to download as well which is nice to have so if you're going to use this offline that's a great feature you're doing one thing wrong oh it's more than one thing the other thing that was impressive was youtube playback so uh, i played a bit of an 8k video yesterday it was an italian one uh, and it did it did look really nice uh well let's just go with something like this it doesn't seem to be dropping any frames at all that's obviously stop frame animation there but you can see it's playing at uh, 4k 60 fps and it's lovely and smooth, it's not dropping any frames. Really, really impressed with that. I need to plug it into my TV and have a look what happens when it's actually outputting to a 4K display. So let's do that, let's shut that down. Okay, so I've connected my Logitech keyboard. I've just connected the Wi-Fi because I was using it on Ethernet before. Let's launch YouTube and try again. Let's try my video and see what happens. Oh, yeah, it looks great straight away. So let's hit stats for nerds. So it's on 4K anyway. Stats for nerds. So this shows at 4K 30. Yeah, and it's looking really nice, looking really smooth. 
Let's see if we can find something that will play at 60 because for some reason my video doesn't play at 60. I'm sure I uploaded it at 60. So that's also playing at 4, 4K 30, but it's not dropping any frames at all. 64 bits is definitely working much better for YouTube on this. So that's playing in 4K 60 now. It's not dropping any frames. If I just get rid of the stats for nerds uh, and just show it full screen because it looks really nice. Yeah, very impressed with that. So I'll keep trying the CADAS boards. Um, hopefully the software keeps coming. The software is going to be the key point on this, definitely. But it's nice to see that they listened to what people were saying and we wanted 64-bit Android and we've got 64-bit Android. If Google Play Store could be added to it, that would definitely make things a lot easier. But to be fair, with AppTide, uh, everything I was running on that uh, was installed with AppTide apart from the PS2 emulator, I downloaded that from the internet, but uh, everything else installed with AppTide TV, and actually it's pretty good, uh, it's a pretty decent app, and it's very, very easy to use. Okay, so I hope all this helps, thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.